Hello there, art lovers of the world. Today I would like to take you through my recent trip to the Queen's Gallery at the Buckingham Palace. I have first visited this last year in September and it was part of the Royal Day Out Pass which allowed us to visit the Buckingham Palace where you are not allowed though to uh, film or take pictures but in the gardens then the royal muse where you can take pictures and film just like uh, the queen's gallery which i just have visited now <clears throat> the queen's gallery at that time had an exhibition on the scottish painters which you saw as i started this video I show there some uh, pictures which I have taken then. I was really, really impressed with them. You saw Queen Victoria as a young child and as a teenager, where she looked simply, simply stunning. I think she was a gorgeous child and teenager. And then you can see the fountains at Prado in Madrid. Uh, the paintings with the gypsy and then you saw uh, that a painting of Bonnie, a well-known Scottish lord. On the right hand side there is somebody which uh, who looks like a, a well-known actor. Uh, his name starts with Matthew. <laughs> I'll let you know to uh, find his surname. Anyway, that was very, very interesting. And afterwards you saw some pictures from the current gallery, which is on Canaletto and the other Italian painters. And I already spoke with the staff who told me that at the end of the year or next year, they'll be having a new exhibition on Charles II. I cannot wait to visit it once again. So we only paid last year because um, we afterwards asked for our tickets to be stamped in order to come freely again within one year. That is how it works there. So if you have your tickets stamped, you can visit all three all over again. Buckingham Palace, Queen's Gallery and the Royal Muse. And when we visited now, the lady at the entrance was so kind. She uh, allowed us to visit once again until next year, uh, mid-June. I mean, how brilliant is that? Well, we are saving money, so we appreciate any savings. Right, well, as we entered this current exhibition, after passing the airport style security, you saw there the gorgeous ceilings, the gorgeous ar architecture, which I always loved. Uh, then um, we went into the rooms where you saw the drawings on Venice, the manuscripts, and afterwards we move on to the main rooms where the paintings are. And what you see there is lots of paintings by Canaletto, Ricci, Tipolo, Zuccarelli, Pellegrini, and uh, one very interesting thing is, as I just returned from Venice, um, I noticed that in the 18th century there were more people in certain parts of Venice, according to these paintings, than what you find nowadays in certain remote areas. No, I'm not talking about the areas around the Canal Grande, where it's always madness. There are always thousands of tourists. Anyway, as you step into these galleries, you have got uh, the last remaining, the Nash Gallery, uh, with uh, gorgeous paintings, as I said, mainly by Canaletto, because he was a great friend of Joseph Smith, an art patron uh, who collected most of these paintings in the current exhibition. Uh, not all the paintings in this current exhibition used to belong to Joseph Smith, but some to other uh, collectors. And Joseph Smith was well known in Venice at that time as he filled his Palazzo 
on Canal Grande and just outside Venice with these paintings by the uh, Venetian uh, painters. Uh, as you can see, it is a great discovery and I enjoyed everything. I enjoyed the drawings, I enjoyed the paintings, uh, I enjoyed uh, going to the little rooms, try to go in there. There are two little rooms with more treasures, which I uh, loved. Um, and, uh, well, that's it really. One notable thing to mention is that Canaletto seems to be moving buildings around in his compositions purely to create uh, a more interesting painting. This is well known. No wonder that looking at some paintings you are thinking, you know what, Venice doesn't look like this nowadays. Some buildings they seem to be moved around. It's not even the mirror image. What is going on here? Um, in the Nash Gallery, besides uh, the paintings on Venice, there are also paintings uh, depicting Rome, so it's all very, very interesting. So uh, I'll let you know, enjoy the remaining of this clip and keep in touch with me here or via my website or social media. Have a very nice day and enjoy this clip. Thank you for watching. Bye!